Hey, hi guys, welcome to YouTube. So in this video, I will show you how you can install Kali Linux in VMware uh, VMware workstation. Okay, so first of all, open your VMware. After this, we need to create a new virtual machine. So click on the create a new virtual machine. And one more thing, make sure you have enabled virtualization in your BIOS setting. Okay, in your system BIOS setting. If you don't know how you enable virtualization, you can check out my video. Link will be in description. And one more thing, you need ISO file of Car Linux. So make sure you have ISO file of Car Linux. You can download it from official Car Linux website. Okay. So now let's uh, install Car Linux on VMware. Okay. After opening VMware, click on create a new virtual machine click here and after this this kind of window will be open uh, here you you have two options one is a custom uh, which is advanced and one is uh, typical which is recommended so I will suggest you to use typical okay right now so click on the typical and click on next after this uh, we are going to install Kalinux through ISO file. So you need to choose this second option, which is called installer disk image file, which is uh, in bracket ISO. So choose this file. After this, browse the file which you have downloaded. In my case, I already have Kalinux file. Okay, this file is 64 bit version of Kalinux. So choose the file and open this. Here you can see it's now chosen. After this, click next once again. And now, Choose the operating system type of your ISO file. So Kalinux is a Linux based operating system. So choose Linux and in version choose 64 uh, bit. Uh, I have downloaded 64 bit Kalinux. So I will choose Linux 64 bit. After this, once again, click on next. And now here you can give a name to your virtual machine. So let's give this a name. Kali Linux and after this choose the location where you want to install this so I will install this thing in uh, D drive let's let's create a new folder for this uh, Kali Linux VMware okay after this just choose the location and click on the next and now choose the disk size for your Kali Linux I will suggest you to choose at least 20 GB okay choose choose 20 GB or 22 GB okay it's all it also depends upon your uh, ISO file size okay now after this uh, you can choose a single disk or you can choose a uh, multiple disks uh, so I will like to choose a single file here okay uh, disk as a single file okay now click on the next once again and now from here you can uh, customize these hardware settings but there is no need for this right now but let's do some changes here okay click on the customize hardware from here you can see we can increase memory size uh, uh, recommended recommended is about 700 MB, but I will suggest you to go for one 1000 MB at least and in processor you can allot this thing uh, number of processes so I will allot allow this about four processes and uh, here are lots of different different settings okay you can see here you can make the changes now one more thing in virtualization engine this setting is in processes okay make sure you have enabled this uh, make sure you have enabled this option okay and uh, that's it that's it everything is fine now now close this and uh, now click on the finish now vm machine will be run now we are in car linux file okay and this is a play button 
okay to start this uh, operating system or uh, vmware okay so click here in this play button now it's running vmware okay so now we are in the setup of kali linux now it's very easy to install kali linux we will use uh, graphical installation because uh, it is very easy okay use your key keyboard keys here so go go to the graphical installation click enter after this now choose the language in my case i will choose english now my country is india so i will choose india here continue and my choose your keyboard layout which is american english so continue okay now you have to choose host name for your uh, kali linux okay so let's choose a host name kali linux and make sure you don't make space here because uh, spaces are not acceptable here if uh, i will give this name a space and then continue this will give me an error so make sure there is no space in this name so just type kali linux and then click on the continue and now other option is uh, domain name you can uh, leave this blank so you don't need to fill this out so click on continue once again and here you need to choose a password so choose an easy password which you can remember and retype this password in my case i have chosen root as my password and click on continue now choose guided use entire disk and choose this first option and continue and now choose all files in one partition after this choose finish partitioning and write changes to disk and continue and choose here yes and then continue okay so now you have to choose um, configure the package manager okay right now you can click on the no and then you can continue now here uh, we have installed the grub bootloader on the hard disk uh, in this case you have to choose yes and then continue and now after this there is option which is called uh, install the grub bootloader on the hard disk here you can choose uh, here are two options available one is enter the device manually and second is a slash dev slash sda uh, choose slash dev slash sda and continue okay so now installation is complete now click on uh, continue once again okay so now kalinux is restarting so choose this first option this can take some time okay so now kalinux is installed now we just need to log in this type your username uh, if you remembered during inst uh, during installation of Kali Linux, um, we didn't choose any username. We choose a host name. Okay, but we can't type our host name here and then password because it's wrong. By default in Kali Linux, username is root. So your username is root, and the password will be which you have selected during the installation. So remember this thing. Okay. Now click on login and now we are in Kali Linux so this is a Kali Linux in VMware station it is very easy to install in VMware okay so thank you so much for watching this video please like share, like share and subscribe if you still have any question you can ask me in comment sections and you can follow me on discord and Instagram bye take care